Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Omerta, the city of gangsters. This Let's Play is another celebration of me getting a million views on my channel and I felt like it deserved a huge celebration. So here we are, Let's Playing a game that hasn't been out for... well, it's out less than 3 hours. So this is gonna be a truly blind Let's Play, but I've been watching the development of this game for a long time and I'm really hoping that this game will be everything I hoped for. Now, everyone uh, who already saw my channel, which is probably most of you, know that I'm a big fan of strategy games, but probably not all of you know that I've been playing them for quite some time now and I have quite a few gangster games on my um, uh, history file. I played Gangsters Organized Crime back in the day, I played Tropico 1 and 2, Desperados, even the Hooligans, and now there's Omerta, which is a strategy simulation of an organized crime in United States during the Prohibition. So without further ado, let's get right on with it and set up a new game. Okay, first we need to name our character, and as we are an Italian immigrant, I think we will need a name worthy of that country. So it will be Giorgio Di Michelli. Oh, we can't! It's too long! Mm, Giorgio, maybe it will be just Giorgio, <laughs> which is... come on! Okay, we'll be Giorgio. Just Giorgio is fine. And we'll need to choose a portrait. I don't like these, but I like these two. So it's a battle between the odds, but I like this one a bit more. Now, the character creation is quite simple. You've, we will be given a number of questions which will influence our overall stats. Now we have muscle, which helps characters to move at longer distances and perform better with melee weapons. Finesse helps uh, with characters' proficiency with all firearms. Toughness, a tough character has higher overall health and is able to survive more hits before being knocked out. Smarts, character with high smarts act more often in battle. Guts, a character with high guts is less likely to panic during crisis situations and reacts faster at the start of combat. And finally, Cunning. In battle, a character with high cunning has more action points and a higher critical chance. Now, I imagine Giorgio being not all that strong, but having high guts, probably high smarts and high cunning will mostly rely on firearms, so hopefully we will not get in that many uh, fistfights, but you never know. So, you grew up in a small village in Sicily. Your childhood nickname was either Earful, which helps with cunning smarts but uh, gives a penalty to muscle, Berries, plus one to smarts and finesse, minus one toughness, or Hood, minus one smarts, plus toughness and finesse. We'll go with Earful. When you grew up, Enough, your father decided that you should learn diligence and learn a trade. You became apprenticed to the blacksmith, uh, helps with guts and muscles, uh, penalty to cunning, stonemason, plus to smarts and toughness, minus one to finesse, or the shopkeeper, plus one to smarts, minus one to toughness, plus one guts. We'll go with the shopkeeper. The most ridiculous feat you managed to pull off during your youth was Stealing the keys for the village mayor's wine cellar and drinking most of it before you were discovered. Plus one cunning, plus one finesse, minus one guts. Wrestling an enraged bull with your bare hands. Plus one guts, plus one muscle, minus one finesse. Or sweet talking a local loan shark to forgive your debt and give you even more money just until you get back on your feet. We're gonna go with the option number three. It gives plus one to cunning, plus one to guts, minus one to muscle. So we are already 
having high smarts, guts and cunning, but we have very low muscle, average finesse. I guess, well, if six, six is your starting uh, number, so I'll imagine it's uh, average and toughness uh, slightly below average. When you were 16 years old, you fell in love with the prettiest girl in the village. Her brother challenged you to a duel. Since you were challenged, you got to pick the weapon. It was either a pistol, minus one muscles, plus, two one, plus one to finesse, a knife, minus one to smarts, plus one to muscle, bare fists, minus one guts, plus one to muscle. You let your enemy pick, confident you can beat him with every weapon. Minus one cunning, plus one finesse. You know what? We'll need the muscles, so it's either a knife or bare fists and smarts. Act more often in battle, guts less likely to panic and um, reacts faster. Uh, I'd rather act more than have higher guts, so we'll go with bare fists. You decided to leave Sicily and immigrate to America because a Don put a price on your head after you had an affair with his wife. Wow. Plus one cunning, plus one smarts, minus one toughness. A vendetta wiped out your family, leaving you and your brother the only survivors. Minus one cunning, plus one toughness, plus one guts. Or you decided to pursue the American dream in the land of opportunities. Plus one cunning, minus one to smarts, plus one to toughness. Uh, I actually like the option number three. It sounds... Let's go with that. And we can review our character's attribute below his portrait when you are ready, select your difficult level. So Giorgio has muscle of five, finesse and toughness of six, smarts and guts of seven, and cunning of nine. Wow. Well, uh, that's pretty straightforward we're gonna be a sharpshooter um, well but we should be able to give a punch as well and not surprisingly we'll go with hard America here I am fresh off the boat five bucks in my pocket dreaming the American dream I had to get my feet on the ground pretty damn quick In the land of the brave, the wicked go unpunished. In the land of the free, freedom is an expensive commodity, even the freedom to have a drink. Success is never about hard work or fate cutting you some slack right when you need it. Success comes from giving the people what they need, when they need it. Okay, we're back, uh, and now we get to pick our first District. Uh, the game should be composed of, uh, I don't know, something 20 districts or maybe 16, I'm not sure. Uh, let's start by saving this. I wouldn't really like to, you know, go through everything again in case the game crashed. Okay, and now let's start with main. Uh, main. I got a drink five minutes after I arrived in Atlantic City. The prohibition hasn't changed much here. Tourists still flock to the world's playground for a drink and a round at the tables. Me, Freddy Tonino, and Squiggs got a room in the less prestigious part of town. We scraped up what cash we had and got our hands into the booze trade. Okay, so this is the first district. Uh, Giorgio will get rewards, team members, gang sites, and level up. Okay, so let's see how this works. Construction require clean money. You can wander some dirty money with an accountant. Like in real life. Welcome to Atlantic City, boss. Let's look around our new home. Okay, move the mouses to the edge of the screen to pan the view. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. You can rotate the view by holding the middle mouse button. Objective, move the camera. So, this is really not something... Yeah, this is not something surprising. I found us a nice place to stay near the famous boardwalk. Okay, click on the building with the head sign above to select the hideout and view more information about it. 
Okay, this is the hideout. Since we're new in Atlantic City, boss, we should learn what we can about the district and gather some information. There's a shop across the street from our home. You can use buildings with the question mark sign above them to gather information about the neighborhood. Objective. Select the shop by clicking on the building or sign above it. Okay, I guess this is sort of a tutorial mission where we will learn how the game works. Let's see, this is the hideout. Upgrade to level 2, 20 additional storage or decorated. Living room, bedroom, cabinet, pool. Oh, pool, cool. Entrance, garden, path or a fence. Uh, yeah, the district seems fairly normal. Unknown, okay, unknown buildings, so we haven't discovered anything yet. Let's start by doing what we are told to. Either of these actions will allow you to learn more about the district at a different cost. Click one of them and continue. The shopkeeper has heard every rumor and knows everything about everyone. How delightful. A big spender. Big spender costs five dirty money. Spend some money to get the information you need. Giorgio is a mastermind. Action will be completed faster. Or cheers. Cost one beer. Shopkeeper had enough orange juice to last him a lifetime. Some free beer will surely loosen his tongue. Giorgio is a mastermind. Okay. I guess we got $50. Queen money. We got no queen money. We got... What's this? Storage. Liquor, beer and firearms. Okay, one of 50. We got one beer. No liquor. We got no firearms. Rep liked. Represents your reputation with the people of the neighborhood. A high liked rating provides lower prices for renting businesses in the area. Some buildings will make higher profits depending on your reputation. Okay. And fear. It represents your reputation with the people of the neighborhood. A high fear rating allows the purchase of land at a cheaper price. Some buildings will make higher profits depending on your reputation. Okay, cool. You know what? We'll save the money and we'll go with cheers. Good job, boss. I eagerly await your return. Okay, assignment will take time to complete. A gangster can tackle only one assignment at a time and will be unavailable for the duration of that assignment. Okay, objective, wait for the boss to return from his assignment. Okay, Giorgio is gathering information in... Hey, can we actually see him? Yeah, that's us! Cool! So we are now in uh, the pub where the informant lives. You must have it done, right? Looks like you found a couple of independent breweries, boss. We can steal some beer from them. <laughs> Independent businesses offer many opportunities such as buying, stealing and selling alcohol. Aggressive actions such as the raid will lower your relations with the business's owner and he may refuse to do business with you. Select one of the buildings with the beer mug sign and use the raid action to steal some beer. Okay, I guess we do not care about them hating us. So. Uh, we got four places of interest. There's one. Speak easy. An illegal booze joint. The owner is always looking for more beer to sell. Okay, so we can do a drive-by supply or a buyout. Then we got a brewer here. The illegal brewer is ready to supply a lot of speak easies. Uh, efficiency 100 relations neutral. There's another one brewery. Uh, the same thing, given the same amount. And there, he said we knew of one more, four places of interest. But I don't see anything on the mini map. There's just these three. Uh, I think he said four. Never mind. So let's start. 